Louisiana's public school system has failed Louisiana, the first state in the union after the Obama election to respectfully and peacefully request to secede from the union. Their public school system is a failure. Therefore, they have a new law to privatize public education. Uh, people can have vouchers, low income and middle income. We always indoctrinate the poorest ones first. Have vouchers to go to private schools. Uh, by the way, Louisiana is also the prison capital of the world. They've turned poor people into factory commodities for privatized prisons. They have more prisoners per capita than any place else in the United States. They have five times more than Iran and 13 times more than China. So Louisiana is going to be spending tens of millions of dollars in tax payer money to help poor middle class kids go to private schools with little vouchers. 119 schools and most of them are Christian. Now there's a kid named Zach Coplin, a college sophomore who's taken to change.org to stonewall the program. He's identified at least 19 that teach or champion creationist non-science and will rake in nearly four million dollars in public funding from these vouchers. He also notes that they rely on Pensacola-based A. Becca book curriculum or the Bob Jones University textbooks to teach pupils Bible-based facts such as the existence of Nessie the Loch Ness Monster, I guess presumably to prove that dinosaurs are still alive. Now in the article I'm reading from Mother Jones here are 14 of the wackiest ones. Frankly, I don't find anything about this funny, and I'm rather disturbed that Mother Jones is, but at least they're reporting on it. Dinosaurs and human beings live together, because of course there is no such thing as evolution. Dragons are real. Quote, is it possible that a fire-breathing animal really existed? Today, some scientists are saying yes. They have found large chambers in certain dinosaur skulls. The large skull chambers could have contained special special chemical producing glands. When the animal forced the chemical out of its mouth or nose, these substances may have combined and produced fire and smoke." End quote. That's from a textbook called Life Science, third edition, Bob Jones University. Of course, these large chambers were probably actually vocalization chambers. They're here locally in New Mexico and there, I think there's a fully preserved fossil specimen at the museum in Albuquerque and they've been doing some acoustical testing on these and have recorded simulations of the sounds these dinosaurs made. God used the Trail of Tears to bring many Indians to Christ. My ancestors are Cherokee, and we were the ones who hid in the mountains of Appalachia and escaped the Trail of Tears, which took place in the middle of winter. People were forcibly walked from Appalachia to Oklahoma. The government confiscated all their property, and the Cherokee were so affluent, and this is not something I'm bragging about, but so affluent that they owned plantations, including slaves. So the government confiscated their property, relocated them, they relocated themselves at gunpoint, in the dead of winter to Oklahoma with nothing, and became wards of the government. And that was to bring <laughs> Indians to Christ. Four, Africa needs religion. Quote, Africa is a continent with many needs. It is still in need of the gospel, only about 10% of Africans can read and write. In some areas, the mission schools have been shut down by communists who have taken over the government. That quote is from Old World History and Geography in Christian Perspective, third edition of Becca Book or Bika Book. And the 10% literacy rate is off, Mother Jones says, by quote, give or take a few dozen percentage points. Five. 
quote, a few slaveholders were undeniably cruel. Examples of slaves beaten to death were not common, neither were they unknown. The majority of slaveholders treated their slaves well, end quote. That's from United States History for Christian Schools, 2nd edition, Bob Jones University Press, 1991. Sixth, quote, the Ku Klux Klan in some areas of the country tried to be a means of reform, fighting the decline of morality and using the symbol of the cross. Klan targets were bootleggers, wife beaters, and immoral movies. In some communities, it achieved certain respectability as it worked with politicians. That's from United States History for Christian Schools, 3rd edition, Bob Jones University Press, 2001. We're going back to a birth of a nation. Seventh, quote, perhaps the best-known work of propaganda to come from the Depression was John Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath. Other forms of propaganda included rumors of mortgage foreclosures, mass evictions, and hunger riots, and exaggerated statistics representing the number of unemployed and homeless people in America, end quote. United States History, Heritage of Freedom, 2nd edition, a Becca book, 1996. Eight, SCOTUS, enslaved fetuses. Quote, ignoring 3,500 years of Judeo-Christian civilization, religion, morality, and law, the Burger Court held that an unborn child is not a living person, but rather the, quote, property, end quote, of the mother, parentheses, much like slaves, were considered property in 1857, case of Dred Scott versus Stanford, and parentheses, end quote. American Government in Christian Perspective, second edition of Beka Book 9. Quote, it's no wonder that Satan hates the family and has hurled his venom against it in the form of communism, end quote. American Government in Christian Perspective, second edition of Beka Book. Number 10. Quote, Mark Twain's outlook was both self-centered and ultimately hopeless. Twain's skepticism was clearly not the honest questioning of a seeker of truth, but the deliberate defiance of a confessed rebel. End quote. Elements of Literature for Christian Schools, Bob Jones University, 2001. Quote, several of Emily Dickinson's poems show a presumptuous attitude concerning her eternal destiny and a veiled disrespect for authority in general. Right on, girl. Throughout her life, she viewed salvation as a gamble, not a certainty. Although she did view the Bible as a source of poetic inspiration, she never accepted it as an inerrant guide to life, end quote. Elements of Literature for Christian Schools, Bob Jones University, 2001. <laughs> Eleven, quote, unlike the modern math theorists who believe that mathematics is a creation of man and thus arbitrary and relative, a uh, Beaker book teaches that the laws of mathematics are a creation of God, and thus absolute. A Bika book provides attractive, legible, and workable traditional mathematics texts that are not burdened with modern theories such as set theory, end quote. Mm -hmm. Twelve, gay people have no more claims to special rights than child molesters or rapists. That's from Teacher's Resource Guide to Current Events for Christian Schools, 1998-1999, Bob Jones University Press, 1998. Thirteen, global environmentalists have said and written enough to leave no doubt that their goal is to destroy the prosperous economics of the world's richest nations, end quote. Economics. Work and Prosperity in Christian Perspective, second edition, a Beka book. There, they finally said it out loud. All this shit about creationism and everything else is just a smokescreen to foster an anti-science climate in this country because the facts of global warming are getting in the way of corporate interests. Number 14, globalization is a precursor to rapture. Quote, but instead of this world unification ushering in an age of prosperity and peace, as most globalists believe it will, 
it will be a time of unimaginable human suffering as recorded in God's word. The Antichrist will tightly regulate who may buy and sell, end quote. That's from Economics, Work and Prosperity in Christian Perspective, Second Edition of Beaker Book, 1999. This was a lighthearted look at these issues, but we as secularists cannot take this lightly. We who know constitutional law cannot take this lightly. Propaganda is a very useful tool under the auspices of theocracy. Every secularist in the nation should be up in arms. Hell, every secularist on the planet, because if Louisiana gets away with this, the other states will fall. In the meantime, I anticipate there will be a good number of lawsuits. This all occurred only two weeks ago, and this is the first I've heard about it. And since I'm all over Facebook and YouTube and social media, and this is the first I've ever heard about it, then this passed rather quietly, didn't it? And it's at taxpayer expense, privately funded propaganda schools. Welcome to the new dark ages, folks. Be prepared to reap the whirlwind, gentlemen. Personally, I think you're a fucking idiot.